So our question is, are we ready for the implications of working with or through networks as a donor or northern perspective? Um, do we understand the implications of, to our organizations and staff of being involved? Do we know how we can facilitate or support <coughs> networks? What is the influence exactly of our funding role? How can you expect to be impartial? How can you be treated neutral when you have um, some funding? We'll get back to that in a minute. Do we have enough capacity to make networks work? And what are the implications for headquarters we call it, like here in, um, in, in, in the north? First of all, we'd like to um, ask your opinion about something. A statement. The only way development agencies will have any impact is when they operate in networks. On your tables, there is red and green cards. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the only way. It's the only way. Okay, green people. Put your heads up. Raise your hand. Green. green. The green, green, green only. Um, could we ask some some of your comments? What would you like? Why do you feel that this is the only way we can have any impact at all? One can start here, the other can grow it on and coming in, and then you can come in later upon. So in a kind of process, that it needs interaction, and you just cannot do it alone. If you are talking about impact, you are talking about long term period. Uh -huh. And then if you are alone, you can have a kind of intervention for a certain period. But they can bring in another of your member or your network into another state of the development or the chain process that you would like to realize. And if the development structure stays on its own, then it won't be able to, to tackle really problems with people who are part of the issue about the cause. So I think it's really important that they should network with other uh, sectors, other institutions. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you for your input. The red cards, could we see them? Okay, um, thank you for your input. The red cards, could we see them? Still quite a few uh, even more cynics. The statement is uh, networking as the only way. And uh, I think it's a very good way to achieve uh, good impact. But what is happening now is that we, ha we are having a kind of network uh, apartheid. A lot of networks divided into societies. Network apartheid? Yes. Okay. <laughs> society, yeah. is, yeah. society is divided in networks yeah. who are not cooperating each other at all. Yeah. It's also supposed to advise the network. I sometimes have very conflicting roles. I um, try to advise them, especially on this part, okay, are you sure that you are serving all the interests of your members? But before I know it, they, everything I'm saying, they think, okay, we have to adapt to this because this is the owner. But that is always very difficult, how to make sure that which parts are uh, advisory to the network and which parts are sometimes also a little bit compulsory. Thank you. On ownership. That's me, I guess. Yes. Yeah. And to make available those, those new resources works a little bit um, of corrupting maybe as well because uh, a number of the, the, the organizations were really interested uh, in the network, not because of the topic, but, but more because of the, the, the funds that were, were involved. So over the years, we really had to find new ways uh, to cooperate and really see uh, what were good ways to, to, to uh, start. We started a little bit over again without uh, using a lot of funds, but facilitating research among communities and, and focus group discussions uh, with young people without making a lot of money available uh, for doing that. And then you saw that a number of organizations were really interested in the topic. They put energy and staff time, they made staff available to, to, for carrying out the, the, uh, the research. And then you really see that that, uh, that ownership is, is uh, yeah, being built up. With our um so the conclusion, should we work to develop networks or should we network to develop our work? And uh, that's, uh, thank you for your attention.